Nothing can match the USS Gerald R. Ford, as the 38th President of the United States, Gerald R. Ford helped the nation heal after the Watergate scandal. A career politician, he was a man known for his sense of integrity and honor, and it is thus fitting that the warship named in his honor carries the motto, Integrity at the Helm. While there had been calls to name the future lead vessel of a new class of nuclear-powered supercarriers the USS America, in late 2006 shortly before Ford's death, President George W. Bush signed the fiscal year 2007, FY07, defense spending bill to declare CVN-78 the USS Gerald R. Ford. On January 3, 2007, then United States Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld announced that the aircraft carrier would be named after the late president during the eulogy for President Ford at Grace Episcopal Church in East Grand Rapids, Michigan. Rumsfeld had personally told the former president just weeks before his death of the naming decision. USS Gerald R. Ford a true supercarrier while other nations around the globe may have carriers, no other nation in the world has anything even close to the USS Gerald R. Ford. The nuclear-powered supercarrier entered the fleet to replace the decommissioned USS Enterprise, CVN-65, and was formally commissioned by then-President Donald Trump on July 22, 2017. In his speech, Trump hailed the $12.9 billion next-generation aircraft carrier as symbolic of a new era stating, everyone will know that America is coming and America is coming strong. Today, she remains the world's largest aircraft carrier and is also the largest warship ever constructed in terms of displacement. CVN-78 was developed as part of the Navy's CVN-21 program, which will consist of a planned total of 10 carriers that will replace the current Nimitz-class carriers on a one-for-one -one basis. Built by Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding, the carrier is 1,092 feet in length and has a beam of 134 feet while the flight deck is 256 feet wide. USS Gerald R. Ford displaces approximately 100,000 long tons and is powered by two nuclear reactors with four shafts, enabling the carrier to reach a speed in excess of 30 knots. Larger in size than the Nimitz-class carriers, Gerald R. Ford can operate with a smaller crew thanks to a greater emphasis on automation, and the warship will also see a reduction in maintenance requirements, as well as a crew workload reduction. This will allow for improved quality of life for the crew including better berthing compartments, larger gyms and workout facilities, and even more ergonomic workspaces. The new Ford-class carriers also employ advanced technologies including an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, MALS, along with other features that were developed to improve efficiency and reduce operating costs. In total there are 23 new or upgraded systems from the previous generation of carriers.